Okay, so um, in today's video, I'm going to show how to upgrade the firmware on my uh, Nikon D5600 because I noticed that there was a, um, a new firmware that's available or at least newer than what's installed on my camera. These same instructions would work for the Nikon D5300 that I have, but unfortunately there isn't an updated firmware for that. So on the computer, I go into Google and what I would type in is uh, Nikon D5600, oops, firmware updates. And the first search results, I verified the URL and it's uh, correct. So I click on it and it brings me to this page. Now, uh, when upgrading the firmware, uh, my suggestion is only upgrade it if there's a feature that you want or a fix that you want because um, certain things that the firmware can do is it can make things that work stop working. For example, um, because this uh, battery grip is not made by Nikon, it's always possible that when Nikon releases their firmware, they can disable this uh, battery grip so it will no longer work. So what I'm doing is I check for the changes here and it describes what um, what the changes are on the uh, firmware and it, this is something that I want which is uh, SnapBridge I uh, use that so I want the additional feature of it which is why I would be updating so it explains that it goes from 1.03 to 1.10 and what you have to do is I scroll all the way to the bottom I have to accept this and you click on download once it downloads I've already downloaded it but it pops up with a screen asking me where I want it to download I've specified I've already had a copy so I won't download it but it's pretty fast to download it's not a very large file so I click on cancel and it's downloaded to my desktop right here is the program so I just uh, will double click on it to start it because it's an executable file and it, it uncompresses into this folder here. Go into it and you see one file that's D5600 and the firmware version BIN. So what I have to do is I have to transfer this file into my camera. To do that, because my laptop doesn't have a US, uh, sorry, a C SD card reader, I have uh, one of these USB card readers here. So I'll remove the SD card from my camera. And just put it in here. Let's see where, where's the USB port on this thing? It's right here. get in it should hopefully find it and yep, it found it right here now so what we do is I call I right click on it uh, I'm actually in this folder so uh, I right click and I select copy or I can cut it but I'll copy it and then I go into the SD card which is right here it's labeled as the D drive and I paste it in the root folder so, paste. so once it's there I close this window and I eject the card eject. and it says that it's uh, safe to be removed so I can remove this and when updating the firmware my suggestion is anything that isn't the camera itself 
you remove from the camera. So I have a battery grip here. I'm going to remove it. I'm going to close my laptop lid as it's not no longer necessary, but uh, remove the battery grip. I don't have a lens on this camera as well. I would recommend that you don't have your lens attached. And I just need the uh, battery for this. Actually, I'll put the battery in here. And with the battery, I suggest that you take a battery that doesn't have any problems with the camera. And if you still have the original Nikon battery, that you use that when you update the firmware. So I stick it in here. Oops. So I stick it in here, turn this on, and you see it's on. And actually, I'll look in here. So it's on, and what I do is I go into the menu and click on menu. And I scroll down to the the we um, the little wrench, and I would go and that's the uh, setup menu. And I go down to um, go down to the firmware version. I select it, and it shows that currently it's running 1.03, and the firmware that I downloaded was 1.10. So that's good. So what I'm going to do is select done. And I'm going to turn off the camera. And I'm going to insert the card back into the camera. So I've inserted it. Turn back on the camera. And when updating the firmware, you have to make sure that the battery level of your, uh, the battery level is fully charged or is close to being fully charged. Now, go into the menu, and I go into firmware version, and it detects that the updated firmware is in the root directory, so I select update. And it says the current one on my camera is 1.03, the new one is 1.10. Do I want it? It's currently selected on no. I go to yes and I click on OK. And there's a warning saying do not turn off camera during the update. Update will take several minutes. Normally it shouldn't take several minutes. At most I believe it will probably take under five minutes. We're going to see how long it takes. Um, actually it appears to be going pretty fast. So you'll see the bars. wait here and as I mentioned it's very important that your battery is fully charged and you use a stable battery if you've experienced problems with that battery in the past my suggestion is not to use it because anything that happens during this update process you can ruin your digital camera and it will uh, you can cause it not to power on at all so basically it becomes a very expensive brick it's still updating. It's approximately, I would say, 40% done. It's now maybe 50%. And it was fairly fast, so uh, this will be under five minutes, I'm assuming. done. There's maybe um, three more boxes to complete before it's done. Okay, there's one more box. up 
lots of aux. Now it says update complete, turn off camera. I'm going to turn off the camera. Wait a few seconds. I'll turn it back on. Click on the menu. Go to firmware version. And now you see that the firmware version is 1.10. There's still the update there because on the SD card, it has the firmware file on the root folder. I'm going to turn this off again, and I'm going to uh, see if it still works with the, um, the battery grip. I'll just take the battery grip. Okay. So hopefully it works because I do like using the battery grip, but I also updated because I needed the SnapBridge additional functionality. And it works. So everything works out great. Um, if you have any questions regarding this video, please post it below and I'll be sure to answer it. And if you like videos on technology or digital uh, SLRs like the Nikon D5300 or Nikon D5600, please consider subscribing to my channel where you'll be notified of any updated videos that I post. Thank you.